Hey guys, I'm David Demuzio, and I was inspired to make this video because the other day I was taking a flight and I was walking through first class and I saw Logic, the rapper. And I was like, whoa, it's Logic. Love him. I mean, he's incredible, like one of the best rappers out there. But the thing that really surprised me when I saw him, because, you know, I was like this far away from him, is that his hair looked really good. And I just watched this video where he was talking about his hair and his hair loss and his hair was going, It was he was going bald. And so I was really shocked to see him in person and his hair was looking really good. And I wanna watch this video where he's talking about his hair loss and then show you some pictures of him now since this video is done and talk about what he might have done to get his hair back. And I'm also going to talk to you about my own hair loss regimen because I started going bald when I was about 21 years old. By the time I was 23, 24, I was like a Norwood five, which means I'll show some pictures that I was really starting to lose my hair. And my dad was completely bald by the time that he was my age. So at the time, there weren't as many preventative hair loss treatments, not as much information, and I just started going pretty bald. And I've had to end up getting now four hair transplant surgeries to get my hair back to where it's looking now. We're also going to go over Post Malone as well, because I think he's been through something quite similar. My hair was getting thin. I was going bald. People making fun of me for it, all types of And it was really hard because I'm like, I'm, I'm a pretty young guy in his 20s, and the thing about me was like it made me feel like I was old. But it's not that I was old or am old or not or this or that. It's just I'm not a kid anymore. It's a big difference. And so once I like was confident with it, I was like, man, you know, it's all. It really doesn't matter. I buzzed my head, and I'm gonna just rock it, Bruce Willis. It is what it is. Right. But before I did that, I went to go. I was contemplating getting hair transplants yep. uh, because you know people were just making fun of me and this and that, and my hairline and all online and all this and all that. I was happy. I was okay with it. I had realized like you know what, it's okay. This is what it is. But somehow, still found myself in a doctor's office, about to pay over a hundred thousand dollars for the best hair transplants in the world from the back of my head, I was really about to go through with it. And I was like, why? Why am I about to slice open and cut myself open? And then I'm like, oh, it's not for me. It's not to look this way or that way. It is for other people. I'm trying to do this because I want to fit in or I want to look more normal or more younger or more handsome. I couldn't believe what I was about to do, cut my body open. Now, think that if that's what you want to do, you should totally do it. Like if it was a me thing, like if I was like, yo, I want that, I want that. And yeah, it's like if I could snap my fingers and if I can have thick ass hair, like sure, who would, like what, you know what I mean? I think Logic must have decided that he really did want to have hair because now his hair looks really good. So let me show you a couple of pictures that I've just took off Logic's Instagram. So my guess is that Logic had some kind of hair transplant surgery. It's also possible that he didn't, and he was just a really good responder to the preventative treatments that we have available to us for our hair. Because there are guys that can get a lot of hair back without having surgery just from using really good preventative hair loss treatments. So let me show you exactly what I use myself to help keep my hair looking great. And it's very important, I should also mention, that just because you've had hair transplants doesn't mean that you don't need to use preventative hair loss treatments. Actually, a huge mistake people make is that they get a hair transplant and then they don't do anything to maintain their hair and then their hair looks even worse afterward. I use this right here. This is called a low level laser therapy device and I stick it on my head 25 minutes every other day. It's made by iRestore. There'll be a link in the video description with a discount code if you're interested in getting one of these. Click there, put this on, and boom. I know it looks a little bit funny, but <laughs> this thing really works. I stick it on my head. You'll see this red light 25 minutes every other day. It's FDA cleared and it's clinically proven to help strengthen your hair. So 25 minutes every other day, super easy. I mean, I've had mine now, this one, this particular device, I think I've had this for three years and maybe four. And then I had the one before this uh, which I just replaced because this is the, the the upgraded version. I had that for about two or three years. So, and I've never had any of them break. So you can use them 
for a long time. The other thing that I do is I take this right here, which is prescribed to me by my surgeon, Dr. Daniel McGrath, and it contains 1.1 milligrams of finasteride, five milligrams of oral minoxidil, and I think it's one milligram of biotin. So just a little blue pill, one blue pill, I pop one of these every day. Between that and my iRestore laser helmet, I'm set. I don't need to worry about my hair. If you got into this before you get to the point that I did or Logic did, and you start using preventative hair loss treatments before you start losing your hair, we're really at the point scientifically with these treatments, most people never ever need to go bald. You'll save a lot of money on hair transplants if you do that. So we're gonna watch a video that my friend Harry over at Bald Cafe made about Post Malone, because he documented some of his hair loss. And since then, Post Malone has taken down a lot of the videos and pictures that Harry actually shows in this video. Then I'll show you a secret that I might have uncovered from a new Post Malone video. Post Malone has shaved his head. He's rocking the shaved head. He's been rocking it for a while now. And you can see he's also got the addition of a new head tattoo. Let's see what Posty said about his bald head and the reason why he's gone for it. So what's with the shaved hair? That's uh, I was sick of, uh, you know, going bald and thinning, so I just decided to cut it all off. And, guys, I'm done signing. That's all right. Yeah, that's all right. There you go. He said, I was sick of going bald and thinning. I just decided to cut it all off. A couple of pictures that I just grabbed of Post Malone, kind of showing some of the thinning that he was experiencing. Here's one where he's on one of the late shows, and you can see when he looks down like this, that he has quite a lot of thinning actually going on in the front. There is another picture here where he's got a shaved head. It's a little harder to see here, but still you can see the front where his hairline would be, that it's super white. It's very, very white, so you don't really see much of the shadow of the hair. You know, you can see behind that, the shadow of hair where he shaved his head. But the front looks like the hairline is, is really going. Now I want to show you Post Malone's new video. And if you see in the new video, there's none of that signs of thinning. And also his hairline looks lower. Now he also could be covering it and just, um, pushing it forward a little bit. But in all the recent videos that I've seen of Post Malone, his hairline looks much lower than it did previously, and I don't see any of the thinning going on here in that, that front little section. It's about 50-50 either way as to whether Post Malone actually had a hair transplant or he just got on good preventative treatments and reacted well to them. It's not as obvious as with Logic. I think there's a much better chance that Logic actually did have a hair transplant. With Post Malone, I'm not sure. Okay, but there's this one secret. So one thing that I uncovered and it made me think, hmm, maybe Post Malone did have a hair transplant. So if you go to this video I found on YouTube, which is the making of Post Malone's new album, his hair is quite short and he's got it shaved, and you can actually see what looks like a scar from a strip style hair transplant. Now I've had those FUT hair transplant where they take a strip from the back of your head. So it, come, it goes from right here, that's where they take the strip from that section because that's the best donor hair, okay? And now if we look at the photo of Post Malone, you'll see that there is a sort of like a line there where it looks like there's no hair, like a, like it looks like a line from a scar. So that would be very typical of the scar that you would receive when you get a hair transplant, which is the reason why if you get a hair transplant, you do have to wear your hair just a little bit longer in the back because so that scar won't be shown, especially with an FUT style hair transplant. Let me know guys what you think. Do you think Post Malone also had a hair transplant? Do you think Logic had a hair transplant? I wonder if Logic is now gonna talk about that since he was so open in talking about his balding you know, on that video. Hope this video is really helpful for you guys. If you're also experiencing balding or one of your friends is and you wanna help them out, it's something that we need to talk about. And like I've showed you, there are really great preventative treatments for hair loss, so you never need to get surgery. This is what I use right here, right here. I'll see you guys soon.